What is going on everybody on YouTube? This is MK The Truth. And you see we got some sneakers to take a look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, please. Yes. You got to come on and join the squad. Also connect to that Instagram. It is the truth. MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is done by me, MK. If you would like to check out some of these tunes, head on over to Delano on the beat. Whew. So let's get to it. We got a pair of the air little bars. Jordan Full. Is it is Emma Manier or is it Emma Manier? And I, I've been hearing some Emma Manier. So anyway, we got the Air Jordan 4. Um, uh, Manier. Manier. Munier. Munier. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, start off. We got the Emma Manier Shroud. Very nice. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's get to it. Pretty much the same shroud that's on the threes and I believe the one. So let's go ahead and move it back a little bit. And as you guys can see, you have this uh, violet box with the jump boy and the flight. And this is a 10.5. We got a little bit of spackling down bottom. I like it. I like it with Emma Manier. Or Emma Manier on the side. So go ahead and take a look at what we got. Flip the box open. And you have this sort of a it's sort of dot matrix. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, from back when I was in computer graphics, I think that's dot matrix, right? You got the uh, my manier on the uh, underside, very nice. And let's get into the shoe. So, if you guys are new to the channel or you've been here, you would know I, I, I don't care for this shoe, but but things can change when you get them in hand. Now, do I feel the same way that I felt before? Mm, I do. But not really. Let me explain. So let's go ahead and get into the shoot. We have today the Air Jordan 4 of my Manier. Mobiles. Anyway, this is the violet colorway. And after having these in hand, okay, I, you know, I, they I, man, they I, I still think I prefer right now. I still think I prefer the mock-up or was it really a mock-up? over this one but this this is 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 grown on me now if you look closely you see you have different color paneling you see it looks like the tongue and it looks like here now that is going to be something common with this particular sneaker let me explain that as well because this whole shoe is made up of a premium uh new buck right and this is treated some weird way we'll get into that in a second now not every piece of cut is going to come from the same hide so therefore not every color of the hide is going to be dyed the same color if that makes any sense then the reason why i say that is because i know about materials for one number two i have plenty of sneakers that are straight from you know who that have discolored panels just like this but anyway there is one thing that i'm seeing that just doesn't look quite right and that is the toe box so it looks like they're pretty much still using the same boxy toe box the ones that i'm seeing has more of a oval toe box and it looks like they didn't come here over the thread line they didn't overlap it as much here or they didn't form it to have more of a you know of an oval toe box it still looks like they're using that old style of a toe box on the full that's just me speaking from what i have been seeing in pictures and what i have been seeing uh so far in some of the early reviews i can confirm that that the toe box i don't think it's supposed to be this boxy now things can be inconsistent but i just don't think it's supposed to be as boxy now speaking on the materials i mean they are, they are very good so basically what you have is like this you have this new buck but it's it's treated with this it's treated with like a oil i think it's like a mink oil or like a coating sometimes they do this stuff uh to materials to kind of preserve it or just give it a different type of look you can see certain areas have different textures of blotches and it is in fact a really good premium piece of material this is how the toe box is supposed to look for the most part supposed to have a smush it's not supposed to be as boxy 
as it is i wonder if i can kind of form that out but that is the one thing i do like on this shoe is the materials are very nice it has sort of that you can kind of give it like a distressed look kind of give it like a vintage look i think over time these will start to look really good as they age now you know like i said i didn't really care for this shoe at first well, you know i do like earth tones and sort of simple simple sneakers uh, it's, it's growing on me a little bit but I do still prefer that first version over this shoe anyway flip around to the boot I'm talking a little too much you got the Nike Air on the boot very nice color choice sort of that muted or sort of that dark charcoal gray one of the things I had a problem with was the nipple <laughs> on the side of the shoe or this little thumb tackle button or whatever you call it you have an A on the inside there quilted on the guts as they always do and you can look at the raw edges of the material you can see it's a very thick piece of new buck and it is very nice so you go ahead and take out this insole you have quilted under and you have quilted on the footbed and if you look on here you see it says holiday 22 approved by michael jeffrey jordan i'm a manier inspired by street culture fashion and the greatest athlete in history i want to put that to the side i don't think this is a real leather i believe this is a synthetic piece yeah this is a synthetic uh on the bottom of this footbed so anyway it does come with the uh, my money yeah, chocolate bar hang tag this is looking pretty accurate pretty accurate the only thing i'm seeing that doesn't really look as accurate is the toe box anyway you got the ah my money yeah, in flight i believe this bead is supposed to be in the gold color not silver i could be wrong let's check out the other shoe right quick and you know we jumping on the body yeah okay well yeah, not bad you can see this one all looks uh kind of like uh all one color opposed to this other one yeah kind of sort of yeah yeah so already know that's that's kind of a normal thing so i don't really i don't really complain too much about stuff like that and this toe box is still a little bit bulky as well supposed to have like i said from what i've been seeing it's been more of that smushed toe box and they just kind of didn't form it uh correctly now filling on the air bubble the resistance feels pretty good we're pretty good there also on the inside of this caging you have some suede it looks like on the inside here i don't know if y'all can see that sort of some low head suede it's a real interesting texture and it's on the tongue as well and also on the other tongue it has a jump boy in the flight while the other one has the uh, my money yeah. now i was looking to see if they messed up <laughs> the insides of the tag like they did pretty good it's not about the shoes it's about where you're going michael jeffrey jordan anyway um like i said this particular pair of shoes, um, I just wasn't really feeling them at first because the mock-up took me by surprise. I just love the way the mock-up look. But they're growing on me. They're growing on me. It's taking some time. I like brown earth tone sneakers. It's growing on me. It's going to be good to get an actual pair in hand and compare these. But the thing I can say about these is the materials are top-notch. The build is great. The color looks pretty good. The only thing I am seeing that is wrong on this shoe, and it could be an inconsistency is the toe box doesn't look as flat as what i've been seeing so far anyway let me know what you guys think about these on my money at jordan falls down below and enjoy my additional b-roll hey man i love y'all we out